This video was sponsored by the Deck of Many's new animated spells Kickstarter. Immortality is pretty gosh darn easy to get in D&D. <laughs> a lot of people have fantasized the idea of making a character that's physically impossible to kill, but they either overcomplicate the process, fail at making a completely immortal PC, or just make a 25 armor class paladin. And those are all fine attempts, but to be truly immortal, we need to know what the exact definition of immortality is. The ability to live forever. Eternal life. That means no death by aging, and no death by shanks to the back. Now, to show why immortality is tough to grasp, Kodo-sensei was a character from the anime Assassination Classroom. In that show, he was seen as a near-immortal demigod among men. With hyper-regeneration, uncanny speed, and unrivaled senses, most people thought it was impossible to actually take this guy down. But here's the problem. Kodo-sensei was technically killable. With enough research into how the guy functions, how he thinks, how he acts, anyone with a death wish towards the guy could theoretically kill him. He wasn't immortal, he was just really, really hard to kill. What I'm getting at is that we can have every magical item in D&D, 9 trillion HP, near infinite magical power, but if a group of people stay under our radar, research our skills and find our weaknesses, we're going to be taken down. It's not a matter of if, but when. And immortality doesn't care, you either are immortal or aren't. So I could get right to the chase and tell you guys what the best strategy for immortality is, but honestly, there's a lot of builds that get close to hitting the mark, and I know a lot of you are already coming up with your own builds and will probably be like, but Blaine, you could also build this and this and that together and you could get- Alright, I get it. Plus, if I were to just jump to the end, this video would be a minute long. So let's go over a few ideas that I know a lot of you are thinking about and get to my own personal ideas later. Number 1. This is going to be one of the easier setups to achieve. An 11th level monk can use a key point every time they die to return from death at 1 HP. At 20th level, you could use this skill 20 times. Along with that, going a half orc could grab you another skill which can save you from death, so in the end, you're looking at 21 instances of infinite health. That's pretty strong, but it's not nearly close to immortality. The power's finite, and once we run out, we're just like everybody else. Flimsy and not immortal. So, class features can't help us. What about unlimited magic? Spellcasters have tons of different spells they can use, and it shouldn't be surprising to know that one of them is invulnerability. Essentially, for 10 minutes you're immune to all damage. That's cool and all, but what if we cast this spell every 10 minutes for 24 hours? Well, to start, we'd need around 4 million XP in order for this to work. You see, after 20th level, players looking to continue the game can begin to collect boons, godly abilities that break the game even further. The boon of high magic can give us an extra 9th level spell slot. Now all we need is to choose this boon 143 more times, and with every 30,000 experience earned, we can grab another. Did you somehow gain 4 million XP and aren't completely dead yet? Great, now you should have 144 9th level spell slots with the spell in vulnerability prepared. Cast it while you travel, cast it while you sleep, cast it while you eat. What could possibly be the downside to such a powerful... Oh. Well, with spell components in mind, you'll just be burning through 72,000 gold every day. Not only that, but just because you're invincible doesn't mean you're unstoppable. All it would take to shut you down would be a thief capable of stealing your gold, or a group of wizards with dispel magic. Once again, you're not immortal, just really hard to kill. Now, before we move on to my personal favorite strategy, allow me to go over some honorable mentions. Using a wish spell for immortality. That could work, but remember that most people see wish as the ultimate Uno reverse card. Depending on your DM, using wish could either completely backfire, lack enough power to offer complete immortality, or just flat out work. In the end, wish is up to the DM's homebrew, and because of that, it's too random to even consider viable. The boon of immortality? Well, it allows you to prevent aging, but the name is just fancy talk to make it more appealing. You can still die to knives in your back, so there's nothing immortal about it. Becoming a god for immortality? Definitely not. The most well-known oh, trait of no, gods okay. in D&D gonna... is their ability to die. The demon god Orcus knew a word so powerful it could kill gods just by saying it. So no, not even gods are immune to death, which is the biggest paradox I've heard all year. So, what can you do to become completely immortal in D&D? Well, there's one item that exists which, without any strings attached, can make its wielder immortal. The Rod of Security. A major tier, very rare item that allows the wielder to create a magical paradise on a privately owned demiplane. 
In this demiplane, the environment can be changed to suit the owner's needs, contains an infinite amount of food and drink, and prevents you from aging. Outside creatures can't locate you or enter your demiplane, and the less people who knew about your existence before you got a hold of this magical rod, the better. Just know, the only spell that could take you down, once again, is Wish. But so long as you create a paradise early enough, there shouldn't be anyone insane enough to try and even kill you. The goal is just to mind your own business and stay under the radar until the rod is in your possession. Don't give anyone a reason to murder you, and you should be fine. If all things go as planned, then you can stay in this demiplane for pretty much forever. Just remember that after 200 days, you need to create a new demiplane. Time moves the same as it does in the material plane, so the rod should be ready to use again before that time comes. Now, there's a lot of ways you can abuse these mechanics, since its ability are so open-ended, but immortality is definitely possible, and is easier to achieve than you think. Knowing you guys, some players might actually try to pull some of this stuff off, so here's a trick to make your DM cry. If you do get a hand on an item like this, form a demiplane to be a training arena where the monsters inside offer a good challenge, but never actually kill the party members. Say that a few decades of tough but rewarding training pass, and from level 1, all of your characters could skyrocket to level 20. I'll say this now, most DMs are gonna shoot this game-breaking item down really fast, so don't get upset when that's the case. Thanks for sticking around until now, and a reminder that this video was sponsored by the Deck of Many's new Animated Spells Kickstarter. From levels 1 through 20, you'll find a fully animated card for 5e that contains all the info you need to cast your spells, with a beautiful holographic front and the magic's description on the back. Along with that is their new tarot card deck. If you'd like to check out the Kickstarter, click on the link down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.